Hello everyone, I'm creating this video so everybody knows how to make lobster fully functional in their canvas. So uh, before I continue, I want to tell you that you will receive this email. Uh, there will be a link here where it says download the cartridge. You're going to click on it. Once um, it's happening, the connection is happening, you will see a zip file downloading. For now, I actually place it on my desktop right here. If you ever want to see what you've been downloading, um, you can go, in, for example, here I'm in uh, Google, but you can go to Downloads and it will refresh the list. So right now I've, I've done several downloads. I'm going to erase that one. I don't need it. Okay, so you should see that in your downloads. Uh, please make sure you save it and put it on your desktop. Once you have it there, choose the course that you would like to put it in. I'm just using this course as a vehicle. This is a course from last fall. You're going to go into settings and then you're going to go to the navigation tab. And as you can see, only the visible ones are the ones on the very top. So you want to make Lobster dashboard available for viewing. So search for it. It should probably show at the very bottom because it was just added not too long ago. You're going to enable it. It's going to move. Move it where you want it to have it. So for example, I'm going to put it close to my modules, say, or to my lab and mastering, since I'm using both, for example, in physics. Once you are done with this step, make sure you save it. Otherwise, it will not show. So go on the very bottom, say save. So what this does kind of ensures you that you have the last dashboard available for students to view it. Now let's see what happens if you actually go there. This will appear on your desktop and you can say set up your dashboard. You really don't know which simulation to take so I'm just going to select them all and then you can say continue. But before you do that, let's go back here, I'm going to close that. Right now your dashboard, uh, Lobster dashboard does not have a cartridge. A cartridge means that it's actually going to be completely hooked up and it will show into your grades. So let's see how do we do that. I'm going to be back into the home screen. So same idea, we're going to go back to settings. Once we are in settings, now we're going to import course content. And this particular information I didn't have last week, okay? So now remember you already downloaded the cartridge. My cartridge is uh, resting uh, on a desktop. I like to put it on a desktop so it's easy to find. So now we're going to say import content. So they will ask you what type. So make sure here you choose common cartridge one. So it's a 1x package. Now they will ask you what file to choose. You're going to choose the file that we just saved. So we're going to choose that one, which is your last full catalog. You do not have to touch this part. And since you don't know what labs you want it, or perhaps you do want to spend the time to do it now, but I will tell you that you can import all the content and then later on you can make up your mind which um, particular simulations you want to have released to students. So I will choose all content and then say import. This takes about a minute, no more than a minute, so we're going to see that it's going. And you should receive a green completed button when it's done. Uh, that means that you don't have any kind of issues to resolve because if you do, let me know. You shouldn't. So let's see that this is working. And by the way, once this is loaded in one of your courses and then a semester later you teach the same class, you can copy your course again. You don't have to go through this again. It will come with a new course. So this is a good sign. It says it's completed and it's green. That means I don't have any issues with it. So now let's see where do I see all of these assignments. So you're going to go into the assignments and it should create a new header. You know, typically in assignments you have everything else you created before, right? You have your assignments from whatever the previous course and it creates a new header. This header is called simulations. These simulations do come in and um, they will be part of um, part of your assignments and you're probably going to have to uh, put a certain percentage on your grade. 
So let's say right now um, I would like to publish one or two of them. So I'm just going to pick something. Um, let's see another one. They have a lab demo. Okay, here's the demo. So I'm going to pick the lobster demo and I'm going to pick, pick springs um, and masses. You can pick just about anything. So those are now published, meaning that they will be viewable in your gradebook. Now, let's go back to um, modules. So say into the first, whichever module you want to add it, I am just going to add something to it. <clears throat> and I'm going to go search for the demo part. Here it is. So I'm going to choose to have my lobster demo and I'm going to put it in my first module, Introductions and Measurements. Okay. So once this is here, of course, you can actually change. Um, you can get in the demo and edit. You can change the points value if you want. Remember that this is automatically linked to an external tool. Please don't touch that. Um, and of course you can assign a due date. I'm just going to put something right there and I'm going to save it. Okay, so since this is an older course, I'm not going to assign anything. I'm going to cancel that, but you can put it in where it belongs. This is what the student's going to see. So I kind of like this because they already have a little bit of introduction about what it is. So a student will just go here and click to open. This one actually takes a little bit longer time and it is advisable that you clear your cache content uh, and the cookies before you do that, otherwise it may take longer. So I'm not going to wait here to, to have this uh, come up. Just know that it's going to be visible to students. So um, now you're going to be able to view that in your grades. Uh, students are going to be able to see it and um, in your gradebook you can actually, um, let's see here if I can sometimes when you put your um, let me see yes, I always choose the view um, not to see the unpublished assignments right? because if they actually see anything right there, unpublished assignments, all of those that you've chosen to be imported, it will show in your gradebook and you don't want that. So make sure that if, I'm going to click it right now, if this is checked, that means the students will be able to see all of this and you don't want them to see that, so make sure it's unchecked. Okay. So that's all I have. Uh, I tried to make it really short. It's about eight minutes now. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.